Okay, and we're here with Otterbein football coach uh, Joe Loth, who is currently prepping the Cardinals for a Saturday night contest with Baldwin Wallace. Uh, coach, you're coming off a few close losses here, uh, but you know you've been right to the end. Uh, what have you, uh, you and the coaching staff tried to tell the team just about you know staying poised and maybe turn around and feed those close defeats? You know, you, I mean, there's a, a simple formula in winning football games. You got to be able to run the football, stop the run, you know, be good on special teams, and uh, win the turnover battle. You know, until we do those three things consistently, even these close losses, I mean. I mean, that's what wins and loses football games. Ultimately, we've got to stop the run better and start winning football games. Mm -hmm. uh, now you're going to face a Baldwin Wallace team coming to town. Uh, you know, what, talk about some of their strengths and uh, maybe a few problems that they might face, you guys. Well, their, their biggest strength, they, they start nine seniors on defense, uh, maybe the best defense in the conference, seven by union. And then offensively, they're going to see, uh, they get a transfer quarterback in the second year. Uh, they can run the football, you know what I mean, which has you know, been our Achilles seal this year, so they provide us a lot of challenges. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to play our first night game in, I think, four or five years here. Uh, just talk about the atmosphere of that, uh, you know, how excited you guys are to play a night game well, under the lights. Well, we're excited to play a night game. We're hoping that with fall break it keeps some of the students around. You know, uh, with fall break going on here, we're, we're concerned a little bit that it's going to be not as many people here as we would with the classes being in sessions. Hopefully that's an incentive for kids to stick around. Definitely. Uh, I'm not sure if you know this, but wide receiver Trey Fairchild leads all of Division Three uh, in all-purpose yards, and he leads the conference in nearly every receiving category. Talk about what he's brought to your team and maybe just your offense as a whole, obviously putting up a lot of points. Well, obviously Trey is a dynamic kid. He's, he's improved every game since he's been here. He's a, he's a kid we're trying to get the football to in certain situations, and he provides us that big play receiver. Cool. All right, well, best of luck to you on Saturday, and we'll talk to you soon. Okay, thanks.